kitchen. Jody is cooking. She is cooking up a storm. And me like she a guan. Me say you want me. Hi guys, it's Jody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another amazing delicious recipe for you all. I'm gonna make some ground beef tortilla. Yes, I'm telling you, this is gonna be super super delicious. I know that I already have another video, but this one I'm gonna you know switch it up a bit. So, guys, I hope you all do enjoy. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it to your families, to your friends, and everyone on your social media. I will really really appreciate it. Stay tuned for the video. So guys, just before I show you all my ingredients, I just want to share a Bible verse for you all. And I pray that you all been blessed by it as I read it. So this is from James 4 verse 8. Say so said, come near to God and he will come near to you. So guys, I just pray that whatever that you're going through, know that God is there with you. You can pray to him and tell him, you know, to change your situation. He loves you so much, guys, and he have a plan and a purpose for each one of you guys' life. So I pray that you all is blessed by this scripture. I love you, but remember that Jesus Christ loves you even more. Stay blessed. So guys, these are some of my ingredients. I'm going to start off with my ground beef. This is 750 gram of ground beef, okay? I also have some garlic that I finely chop. And this is at least four cloves of garlic. These are all of my seasoning. Here I have one teaspoon of paprika. I was gonna say smoked paprika, but it's not smoked paprika. But you can also use smoked paprika, okay? <laughs> and I also have one teaspoon of my black pepper over one teaspoon of my Cajun seasoning and at least over two teaspoon of my all-purpose seasoning yes and I'm also gonna add some heavy cream and this guys is gonna make it be so nice so delicious so creamy I'm telling you this recipe is gonna be so good onions this is half of onion that I finally chop as you can see this is two tablespoons of my tomato puree. So guys, this is at least one cup of heavy cream, okay? Yes. So these are my tortilla filling. So here I have, guys, some mozzarella cheese. And I also have cheddar cheese. Tomato, two tomato that I finely chop. Sweet pepper, and this is off sweet pepper that I finely, finely chop, okay? As you can see, I have the green, the yellow, and the red. Some red onion. And this is off. And you can use corns and, you know, anything you prefer, guys. Okay? My tortilla wrap. So, guys, to my pot, I add at least two tablespoons of my olive oil. So, now, I'm going to firstly add my onion. My stove is in a low heat. Low to medium heat, okay? Just gonna allow it to saute for at least 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, I'm gonna add my garlic. Just gonna leave it for at least 20 seconds. And now I'm gonna add my minced meat. My ground beef. Just gonna break it down. So guys, you just gonna leave it just like so. Do not turn it as yet. Leave it for at least one minute, okay? Yeah, just like so so this is what it look like just after one minute so now I'm just gonna mix it all in just gonna add just a pinch of salt just 
So now I'm just gonna blend all my seasoning. Just gonna add my seasoning now. So guys, I'm just going to leave it for at least 3 to 4 minutes and cover it, okay? Yes. So guys, as you can see, this is my heavy cream. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my tomato puree to my heavy cream. You just want to, you know, combine. So guys, I'm going to add some more of my tomato puree at least two tablespoons okay so just after three to four minutes this is what it look like absolutely delicious so now what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna add at least half can of my canned tomato just like so. Then I'm also going to add my heavy cream with my tomato puree. I'm going to combine it. You just want to make sure that everything is all combined. So guys, I'm going to also grate just a bit of my cheddar cheese. I'm going to add just a bit of my thyme from my bottle. And this is just gonna add you know flavor and I'm just gonna leave it guys for at least six minutes okay so guys I'm not gonna cover my pot what you can do you can just keep stirring it so it doesn't stick okay I don't want to cover my pot and then it make too much liquid so that's the reason why I'm not gonna cover it So guys, this is totally optional, but I'm going to add some of my brown sugar and what it does is going to balance out the taste from the tomato puree and from the tomato, okay? So I'm going to add at least one tablespoon of my brown sugar. You can also use granulated sugar. And if you don't want to use it, guys, you don't have to, but trust me, it's going to add such a difference. You know, mix it in. It is all finished, so now I'm going to turn my stove off. Beautiful. So guys, for this part, make sure that your stove is on a low heat. So this is my pot for my tortilla. I'm going to add some olive oil, just a little bit. You can also use some unsalted butter. Then I'm going to take my brush and just brush it all over. And I'm just going to allow my tortilla just to brown up for at least a couple seconds. Make sure that you watch it because you don't want it to burn. Now I'm going to add my tortilla. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add just a small amount. Try not to add too much of your mincemeat. Oops, just going to add it just like so. This looks so good. Small amount of my onion. Tomato. Some of my sweet pepper. Australia cheese. 
and my cheddar cheese. After a couple of seconds guys, I'm just going to take my time and just flip it over, okay? Just take your time, just, you know, squeeze it. Some of the oil. Just going to take my time and just gently turn it over. Just remove any excess tomato or sweet pepper. And press it down. So now guys, I'm just gonna add it to my plate. Just wanna carry on with the same process. Add some more olive. If there's any onions or tomato in your pot, what you can do, you can just remove it, okay? Cause you don't want it to burn. Gonna move it to my plate now. This look absolutely delicious. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so so yummy. So guys, this is it. I'm just gonna cut into it and show you how it looks on the inside. It came out perfect. I cannot wait for you guys to try this recipe. It is super, super delicious. So now I'm just gonna cut into my beef tortilla and show you guys how it looks on the inside. Don't forget guys to give this video a thumbs up and please share, 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 share it to someone guys. I'm sure that someone that you know will also enjoy this recipe. I mean, just look at that. Oh my goodness. It is so, so, so mouth watering. Super, super, super delicious. And guys, as you can see, it is super, super cheesy. You can see the cheese is melt. It is crispy, nice and brown. This tortilla is a perfect, perfect recipe you will ever have. Trust me, super, super yummy. 
so guys if you try this recipe please comment below and tell me what it's like okay i want to hear you guys feedback and how delicious it is yes <laughs> So guys, do you see how delicious it look on the inside? Oh my goodness, this looks so, 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 so yummy. I mean, just look at it. It came out per, per, per perfect. I thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you all so much for supporting my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Until next time, bye. Love you all. She is looking up a star. And me like she a guan. You say you want to taste it, you have to taste it, and when you taste it, you can't erase it. Hey, Jolly cooking, delicious cooking. Hey, Jolly cooking, straight from the kitchen. Subscribe for more of these delicious recipes. Hit the thumbs up and share across all your social media platforms for more of these amazing delicious recipes from Jolly cooking. Jolly cooking, delicious cooking.